got a resistance band that pressed down here. Now, my resistance band's just tied over something, so just tie it over something that's higher than you, it doesn't matter. Tie it off like a door frame or anything. But the important point is getting the tension first. So there's tension here. Now, you can do this single arm. In fact, we'll probably will do it single arm, but it's easier to create tension. Um, simply get the tension first, extend your elbow, and squeeze and hold. Holding the isometric here for a second is going to be more beneficial because you just don't have the load with the bands. Control the negative, touch your forearm to your bicep, squeeze and go forward. And hold for a second at the bottom. Squeeze and hold. Control at all times, chest up, head neutral. The only thing that's moving is that elbow joint, that's it. Focus on getting a really good contraction, a really good squeeze, and a good isometric at the end, and you're good to go. Doing a basic press up here, as I push all my equipment out of the way. Um, but a couple of things to think about. Think about squeezing your hands in to help create tension in your chest. You also do not need to lock out fully at the top. And if you can't do this with your body weight, just do it on your knees, that's perfectly fine. So simply hand shoulder width apart, so you can go different grips and things like that to change it up. Um, I would maybe suggest doing one set of each wide, narrow and normal. Press down and we're just pushing up. Simple as that. I'm not locking out and pausing at the top, that's going to take all the tension off my chest. And I'm consciously thinking about squeezing my hands in the way as well. Creation on the shoulder press here. So as opposed to the front, we can target more the rear. Again, it's just a behind the neck. This is going to help target the rear develops more. Very similar to the, the overhead press. You probably want to use more bands again because you shows, shows a bit more power. Really control, squeeze, slow and controlled. Keep constant tempo and constant tension. No pause at the top, none of this locking out. Just keep that constant tempo, constant tension. Really slow and controlled with all of these movements. Now I have a very ropey cell here because as you can see, I don't have a house yet. <laughs> but what you can do is tie it to like a banister or something solid that isn't going to move. Wrap it around and you're simply rowing all the way back. Single arm, getting your arm as far back behind you as possible. Again, this will be easier with something solid. I'm just having to improvise slightly here. Really squeeze, hold that contraction, hold, hold, hold. And negative. Keep your chest up, your head, your chest up, your head up and your chest neutral, facing forward. And drive your elbow back, squeeze and hold. And keep going. Aim for the target rep range or until you can't do any more. Again, use more bands for more resistance. <laughs> 